grows in the forest, and um, it's a very soft wood. It's the same kind of wood that carvers up here like to use. And um, they carve it while it's still very green and, and, and fresh. In Mexico, they work with another tree called the cocao tree. Yes? Um, how long does it um, well, take you just to make like one section of the mask? One section. How long does it take to make a part of the mask? One part? It's like one hour to start with a machete. Another hour to wash. One hour, more or less, with each tool. Interesting. Is it about an hour to work with the machete to rough everything in? And another hour uh, with the different gouges to, to form the shape? And about, they said then at that point it's about an hour per tool. And right now, this class is seeing them uh, work on the finishing touches. You can see how he's got all the feathers done from the top of the owl, this whole side. He's made some marks here. See how he's drew with a pencil there? That's where he's going to make the rest of the feathers. So by the end of the next class, this will all be finished. And have you showed the kids the piece, the mask? I may have missed it, like the one piece that it was carved from with the skeleton on the front. Because Zane, you would love that. That is just oh, one. Oh, the devil. Yeah, it's this one piece of wood. Yeah, this is made. This is made by Modesto, the, the man who's carving, and he taught his son painted this. His son is 17, so this is how often the artists teach each other. The father would teach the son, the son would teach uh, their son. So this is a skeleton. And the snake is all carved from one piece of wood. The only part they add on apart are the horns. Okay. These are carved separately. They fit right in there. Amazing. And then if you look up close, you can see all those little dots are painted. Yeah. All individually. So this represents two weeks worth of work. That was a real snake. It's very creative. <laughs> yes, you have a question? Uh, no, not this. Just the ones that we passed around.
a whole week to paint the mask. Do you it recognize the mask? Do you recognize that mask? Yeah. That was the mask he carved when he was here four years yeah, ago. Yeah, that was the one that used to hang up on the wall in the art room. He sanded it this morning, he put a primer he's doing uh, color, and now he's, he's uh, painting all the stripes of the tiger. Yes. The highest amount of the all made masks. What does masks try to say in one day? So they can do about six in a month, not the fanciest ones, but so carving it. Remember, they carve when the wood is green and soft, and they let it dry them in the sun, and they sand and they paint it. So about six in one month. Yeah, so they'll card one week, let the mask dry, and then the next week they would paint. So they can they can do both. They can paint and they can carve. They take turns. In fact, yesterday or last time Aveo was carving and Modesto was painting. And then tomorrow night, most likely at Margarita's, <coughs> Aveo will carve and Modesto. So they take turns. Yeah. How many masks can they make it again? It depends. One this mask they're gonna it's gonna take them all day to make that one. They can make fifty of these little ones in a day, just carving them. And sometimes they don't even get one mask made. Right? It depends how complicated it is. Yes. A little mask, you not supposed to have a game of how to say what I must make. No, 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 yeah, about ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I look at home. Uh, you know. Jesus, we play, and then we'll be at Margarita's tomorrow. And then, if you want, you can come there. With you. <laughs> the medium one's around thirty dollars. So, um, that, because these guys only have to flow uh, 125.